Hey David, you ever wonder what a metal version of the Braveheart soundtrack would sound like? No. Let's get straight into the shit of it. So, we always do con before we do pros because you always want to hear the terrible news before you hear the good stuff. So, we're going to get right down to it with the first thing. And the first thing first is just the folk instrumentation and the absolute mess of production, at least in my opinion. I know a lot of people feel like it is a step up from the last CD just because it doesn't sound like tin can asshole, but it genuinely just sounds just completely unleveled. Uh, you have these really loud uh, folk instrumentation passages and it, just completely in opposition to everything else on it. You've got all the black metal riffs, you've got all the post metal passages, but then you have these massive folk riffs that just kind of go all over the place. They blow up in the mix and they're just way too over the top. I, I, can't, I can't handle it. There's, there's too much going on. It just, it just doesn't sound right in the mix at all. It sounds just like completely overblown, sounds absurd. I feel like it just completely takes away from the integrity of the mixing job. Um, yeah. I don't think it's that bad, personally. The, the Celtic parts, this is a Celtic metal album, so that's, I think that they should be a little more noticeable than the rest of the, the other elements of the album. I don't think they're as loud and distracting as you, you seem to think they are, but I will say that the, the metal part isn't that well mixed in that the vocals are, well they're quiet, but that's not to their detriment really because they're not very good. So they're badly mixed, but in some ways that's good, but I, I don't know, I think things aren't as badly mixed as you're saying. Personally. No, I, I feel like personally the dynamic range, just everything about it just feels absolutely off. I feel like as far as the way that it's composed, I mean, we can get into that later, but as far as what's going on and as far as the ups and downs compositionally or just production-wise, it just feels just completely out of character for a CD that's supposed to be atmospherics. Um, something that you want to listen to maybe in the background, it just feels like it rises way too far up, it peaks, and it's just it's just too bludging. It's just too beat you over the head. It's just too confrontational in the way that it's just put together. Um, I, I disagree about the vocals though. I think they're way too loud. I think they're really? way too yeah. I think they're way too loud. And the fact that they're just absolutely terrible is <laughs> probably the bigger issue. They because, are bad. Yes, because when they're that far up in the mix. I feel like you notice them way more, and I understand that with black metal, you're not going to always get the best results. They're a mixed bag. I mean, nobody goes into black metal thinking, well, this is, this is why I'm coming. This is, yeah. this is the long <laughs> yeah. This is it. This is the pinnacle of vocal yeah. performance. Yeah, that, I, I'm, willing, I'm willing to give some leeway there. I agree. But at the same time, if you're going to do something like that, you're going to put them low in the mix, and you're going to forget about them, and that's okay with me. But here, they're, they're way too loud. They're, and there are clean passages in here, too, that I, I feel are really good, and those are mixed a lot better. But they're, they're so few and far between. I think they're only on one or two songs total. And when they come in, they're, they're phenomenal, but they're, they're not used to their fullest effect, and that really is to the detriment of the entire CD. Well, the, the bad vocals lead to the next part. And to me, 
The biggest fault of this album is inconsistent songwriting. You have the black metal section, and you have the Celtic metal folk section. And the black metal section is just not that good. It's, it's mediocre. If you just took all the black metal parts and put them together, stitch them together in a 15-20 minute EP, I feel like it would just be a complete throwaway. There would be no reason to listen to it at all. Nope. The vocals aren't great. The riffs are not good. Like, the only good guitar riffs on the entire album are in the fourth track, Hearth. Yeah. Towards the end, and they're more folk metal oriented rather than fast, tremolo, black metal riffs, which, well, more mid-paced throughout the album that are on the rest of the album. Yeah. And I just don't really feel like they mesh the black metal part with the Celtic part very well. Yeah, which is absolutely confounding when you think that their last two releases had maybe a little bit better uh, riffage when it comes to the black metal passages. I felt like maybe their last two releases were a little bit better balanced. Even his uh, his earlier releases un under the, the Falloch label, I, I feel like even that did it maybe a little bit better in the balancing act. This one is just a little bit too heavy towards the uh, the folk elements. And, and that becomes a problem when, you know, half of your entire track listing comes down to post-metal and black metal, and those passages just aren't as interesting as they could be. No, even when you go full black metal, well, as far as the album goes, mostly black metal in the last track, uh, Tears of a Nation, oh, God. It's, it just doesn't work. It's the most forgettable track on the album. The, the best parts on the album are the parts that they, they all kind of go in the same direction, really. Like, you'll have a, a mid-paced black metal part, like I was saying, and, like, a break in the middle, and then generally a build-up with folk instrumentation, Celtic folk instrumentation, like the, like the violin towards the end of the, the Declaration, and the uh, Highland Bagpipe in Guardians, the first track, and just the folk guitar part in Hearth. And... That's real. Those are really the best parts of the album. So, I feel I feel like you should take the black metal element out of it. Yeah, it would it would definitely be a lot better, and he would do better with a project <coughs> focused more on just raw folk, more ambient folk. Yeah, type situation. I would listen to that. I yeah. would definitely listen to that. And it's not that he really does any of it particularly badly. No. It's just that it's, it's too bland. It's forgettable. Right. When you do one thing so particularly well, and the other parts just kind of fall in line. You just, you have these really, really high peaks, and then you've got everything else that's just kind of bland in the middle. And that, that just, that disappoints me, because I feel like there is absolutely so much potential in this project. So much, so much increase, so much that could get better, exponentially better. But we're just, it's just not there yet. We're three albums into his career, fourth with the Falloch label, and we're just, we're just not quite there yet. We're at the tip of the tongue, and it's, it's getting there. And, that, and that's that's the big thing, yeah. is that... Yep. Yeah. You see those moments of brilliance, and you, you want it to punch through and last, but it doesn't. I guess the only other thing that I really have an issue with, I know there's already a laundry list here, but I feel like the album is, is fairly situational. I feel like, even though it is, a, it can be anyways, a very solid album, something that you want to listen to, yeah. you really, it just has a very specific areas where you'd want to listen to it. I mean, you're not going to jam this out. No. You're going to listen to this on a long car yeah. ride yeah. or when you're doing walks, when you're doing just something that requires more attention than what you're capable of giving this release. Because this release, uh, as, as good as it can be, it just falls into that background music category, the kind of post-rock, post-metal, and a lot of folk yeah, music does. Yeah, like I, for example, I think this is best, honestly, is study music or... Um, I'm walking music, not workout music. It it isn't intense enough for no, that. No, it really right? isn't. Basically, just something, or just sitting at home late at night, you know, on a snowy night, and it it, it paints an atmosphere. It does you you feel like you're walking along Scottish moors? Basically, it's that's what they're going for. They're yep. very proud of the Scottish heritage, clearly, and they put a lot of a lot of uh, effort into the folk instrumentation by getting all these various session musicians to put in these legitimate folk parts. But it's just not something you want to listen to all the time. And it sounds like we're ragging on it, but there are definitely some pros to the album. Oh yeah, no, the album, the album does have some, <laughs> like I said, high highs, some peak peaks. 
this album has has some incredible highlights in my opinion. Um, for me personally, I, I think the cleans as as far as what's been put out before his recent releases. They honestly, I feel like his his earlier releases were very cringy. The, the clean passages just felt a little try hard and a little off putting. Um, but what he does here is more minimalistic. It, it feels a lot more tasteful. Uh, it, it's it's a little too scant for my yeah, they're taste. Sporadic. They're they're a little too sporadic. I feel like with the, with something like this, I feel like if you put in more of these clean passages, you'd have just a better product. Uh, and that's, not, that's not a bad thing. I, I'm, I'm done bitching about it. I, I really am. I, I do think they are very tasteful and very well put together, and they are an improvement on everything he's done before this. Um, other than that, uh, I, I think the, the, the high highs are actually a lot better than anything off of the album before it or that album before it. Oh, yeah. I'll say that the folk instrumentation is very distinct, very unique, in the way that it sounds authentic. Like, oh, yeah. Like, very genuine. Yeah, like we were saying earlier, it sounds like something that on its own would be a fantastic Celtic folk album. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I feel like that direction should be pursued further. It's very genuine. It paints a wonderful atmosphere, as I said. Yeah, it's, it has an immense amount of potential for just... I understand that he does atmospheric black metal as well, and he's had a couple other projects under his belt. If he had just taken those elements, and if he cuts those out and moves those into something else, I would listen to that. Or either that or minimalizes something. Yeah. Because there's too much of both going on. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, just tonally it's suffering. It, yeah. The balance here between, you know, black metal, post-metal, uh, you know, this, this melodic black and uh, folk instrumentation it's just it's just not cutting it it's it's not doing it uh, that said you know like like i'm saying here the folk is is, is phenomenal once those highs are highs yep. you know i can't think of anything else this year that quite covers this passage in the genre it's yeah. it's just it's yeah. absolutely distinct it's an ambitious folk metal album mm -hmm. it really is ambitious is the terminology that i would use because it really provides an experience that i can't think any other uh, album this year has provided there's just there's just nothing quite like it so yeah as as much as we've ragged the album <clears throat> there are more pros than cons yeah it's not a bad album no not at all it's worth a listen if that sounds like that's something that's up your alley for sure if you're more of a metal purist and like the extreme metal portion of things or are, are all about blast beats and things like that and high bpms it's probably not going to do anything for you no but if you like to relax and be transported to an, another world, so to speak, uh, another atmosphere, then it might be something you'd be interested in checking out. Yep. Uh, I, I think personally I would give it a 7. Yep, I would agree. 7 is perfect for it, and uh, I hope in the future the songwriting is more consistent. Yep, yep, agreed. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, I'm yeah. David. I'm Eric. <clears throat> Eric, I've got a question for you. What's up? Can a bitch get a donut?